Okay people, Maddie back, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm making a chilli with rice. A lot of people have asked me the correct way to, or the healthy way, method of making this, and the best way to cook rice, so I'm going to do this for you all, because we're having, I'm having chilli with friends for tea tonight. So first I'm going to make the chilli, then I will show you how we do the rice. Now for the chilli, first thing you need is a deepish frying pan. You do not need to put any oil in it because there's enough fat in the meat. Okay. And first of all, we get a chopping board, which I have here. A sharp knife. And a wooden spoon. You will need the wooden spoon for stirring, the sharp knife for cutting. Okay, now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the obvious. Excuse me a minute, people. Where did I put that? I bought the, ah, there it is, the chilli powder. And you need about a quarter of a teaspoon of chilli powder into the frying pan. So it goes in dry with your red onion and your white onion. I use about a quarter of each onion. And a bit of salt and pepper to taste, of course. So. That's the chilli powder. I use it as does own one, but there's hundreds of makes out there. And as you can see, there's the pan with the chilli powders in it. Um, I'm going to add to that pan, obviously. I'm going to be adding some sea salt, about a quarter of a teaspoon of that, and about a quarter of a teaspoon of black peppers. Then I'm going to add the white and red onions, which I have in the fridge, so ready to chop up. If they're stuck together, get a rolling pin and just gently bang them, and that loosens them. As you can see, the mince that's going in. In this case it's British Lean Beef Steak Mince which I again got from Asda for £2.20p and I've got one up to two tomatoes which I'm going to cut up into I will show you
Tomatoes are well known to, to be good for helping to lose weight. I cut mine into chunky bits like this. As you can see. But you can cut your tomatoes however you want to. Then you need a red pepper and a yellow pepper. And you need a quarter of each of the peppers. And you cut them thinly and then chop them into bits. yesterday. of a red pepper, quarter of a yellow pepper coming up, on the floor it needs to be washed which I will do now and then I will chop some mushrooms to go in it then I will start it all cooking and I will show you how I do it And as you can see with the chilies, cut with the peppers, you cut them into thin strips and then you cut them into tiny chunks. This is purely to add colour to the chilli. And you also include a tin of red kidney beans, which you will wash before you add to it, and one tin of tomatoes as well. And I will deal with them in a minute once I've finished the chopping of the veggies up. And some mushrooms can be finely chopped and put in as well. It's all down to personal chase, choice. If you don't like an item, don't add it.
I normally would have added a green pepper as well, but unfortunately the shop didn't have any when I went shopping for it yesterday. Okay, now I'm going to add some mushrooms. They don't need to be big, little tiny ones like these are fine. And you just chop them up into quarters and stuff. And that's okay too, that's perfect. trying to organise so that I can get the video more on what I'm doing but I'm still trying to find the best way to deal with that. Glenda Sully is an expert but I'm not. I'm still trying to come to learn what does or doesn't work and stuff without it affecting the um, thing that we're videoing too much. And as you can see there's all the vegetables and stuff like that we're getting slowly chopped mushrooms cut them in th three and then, and then halve it so you get chunks of mushroom so you can, if they're bigger you can cut them into four and halve it like this one As you can see, stalks you can cut in halves. Some mushrooms. The rest of the mushrooms can then go in the fridge to be used up over the next couple of days for other meals. Now and we very gently place it into the pan breaking it up as we go For the rice, you need a big pan, and about a pint, about one and a half pints of salted of water, which you add about a spoonful of salt to. Bring it to the boil. Tip, the, tip about one cup of rice in it. Stir it occasionally as it's cooking. This will prevent it sticking. Before you add the rice to the pan, put the rice into a colander and wash it under the tap to remove some of the starch. There's a colander. About a quarter of a pack of rice is enough for two for up to four people. This rice has a sticky thing on the top of it, which I'm just cutting to open it because I suffer with arthritis 
guessing I struggle with something sometimes. Opening packets and jars is one of the things that I struggle with a lot. So I use the knife to just snip the packets because it's what works for me. Different people do this different ways of course. quarter of the pack, put the rest in my cupboard, as you can see there's about a quarter of a pack of rice there, as you can see, and what we do with that is we make it wet. grains might slip through some of the holes if the holes are big on your calendar colander I do need to get a smaller colander but sadly I can't do it at the moment now let me put some salt into the rice water And if you wish to, you can put some jasmine or other flavouring in with your rice, if you wish. Now, turn the water on. We put the rice into the water. you allow it to boil. Okay. And you just let the water boil with the rice and you just stir occasionally. Turn the frying pan on on a medium heat to start getting the meat and the, the flavourings all combined. When we do that, and we do not put any oil, and we do this with the meat and the flavourings, we do not put oil. You do not need to add any oil because the meat has enough fat on it and you don't want to be putting too much fat especially if like me you've got health problems and you're trying to lose weight you need to do a healthy as possible recipe which is something I do a lot of okay. heating get your can of red guinea beans get your can opener and open the beans place them into your colander and wash them Okay. 
This is especially important. 